Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show podcast. As today's episode is going to be a review of Love Island 2019 episode 24. So obviously today is basically continuing on Cassie Ramor and basically today we kind of see whose head is going to turn and whose head is turning. So the first out of the coupled up boys to admit that they're open to getting to know other people is Jordan. Again, there's no surprise there. Anna and Jordan are quite fresh. And obviously we see that Jordan, well, obviously there's two Jordans, but the girl Jordan kind of moves in swift there. Obviously on the app, she did say she was interested in getting to know Jordan. She also said Danny and she also said Michael. I think Jordan is smart enough to suss that she's probably not Danny's type. Joanna's grafting on Michael and I think she knows that Joanna has a better chance than her. So she decided not to graft on Michael. Nobody's really gone for Jordan yet. He's a safe bet. If she goes for him, Jordan is loving the look of Jordan. So I think that she knows that it's a safe bet to continue pursuing him and that will guarantee her a spot in the main villa. Yeah, I'm here for Jordan's game plan. I think she's playing it very smart. I do think perhaps she may have preferred Michael, but I think she knew it was a smarter it was a smarter plan to go for Jordan. Danny, again, he's faking the sadness thing. Like he was like, oh, we've lost Arabella. First of all, like you one day said, don't say we when it's just you. And he's going on about Arabella like she's so amazing. And you know, it's a thing where like Theo said, if you really liked her, you go. So all of this moping around like Casa like this Casa Ramor experience is like going to be so difficult for him after only knowing Arabella two days. He's going on like Arabella's the love of his life. And if that's the case, then, you know, the door is there. Do we think that this is an Adam situation going on here? Obviously, last season, Adam, who was a player, he moved on very swiftly from girl to girl. It was like, I think, it. I don't, I don't even remember who Adam was with first, but he was with someone first. Then he ditched that person for Rosie and then he ditched Rosie for Zara and then he decided, then Zara got sent home and then he went through Casa Ramor and everything. But then he decided to go home and be with Arabella. Obviously this wasn't straight away either. I'm not sure, I think it was like a week or so and he just decided to go home and that he was meant to be with Zara even though they didn't even last long. So what are we thinking? Do we think that Danny is going to do an Adam and eventually just leave the show to be with Arabella? Or do we feel like he's perhaps trying to save face for the cameras to make it look like he's not jumping ship too early? And perhaps trying to make it seem to Arabella that he actually really liked her and is perhaps trying to maybe hold a beacon out to her to say like if we get out and you know nothing happens for me in here you know I'd be hope I'd be open to rekindling that what are we thinking another reason why I think the Adam theory could be a possibility is because everybody has stated who they kind of like the look of at the very least we haven't heard anything like that come from Danny so perhaps this could be a thing where he doesn't connect with anyone and then he might just bring someone in purely on a friendship level so therefore if that's the case then again there could be a chance for somebody an underdog or perhaps out of the new girls to come in to the main villa through Danny on a like a friendship kind of deal because that's what Adam did last year as well. Anna is completely sold on Ovi. I think they're a sure thing. I think Ovi has secured a place in the villa. I think at the very least, Ovi has made his way into the villa. But do you think that they have longevity? Do you think like Ovi is just using Anna for a place in the villa? Or do you feel like there's a genuine connection there and they could perhaps have a good run on the show? So a big surprise of the episode is Michael basically saying that he's open to getting to know the new girls well, basically getting to know Joanna. So obviously Joanna, she's gorgeous. The The picture on the official photos did not do her justice. She's really gorgeous. A lot of the girl, a lot of the boys' heads have turned for her and it looks like she's got her eyes set on Michael. And I think she has perhaps have a good chance of swaying him. Obviously Michael and Amber are coupled up. They're a favorite within the house and a lot of people are going to be upset if, Michael's head is turned. As I said in my prior podcast, at the beginning of their relationship, I was skeptical. I was very skeptical because I felt like Michael wasn't Amber's ex- type to a T. 
because obviously the first person that she actually said like whilst Michael was still in the house that she liked the look of was Tommy. But I was skeptical on Amber's side, not on Michael's side. On Michael's side, I was less suspicious, but I was suspicious at the fact that he only pursued her quite, quite late in the program in terms of how long had they been together that it was only after kind of Yawande wasn't feeling him that he moved on to Amber. In terms of the couplings, Amber and Michael are my favourite couple. Molly and Tommy are close second, but Amber and Michael were my favourite couple. Will I be upset if Michael leaves Amber for Joanna? I don't think I will be because one half of me is just so bored with this show that I know that if Michael leaves Amber, for Joanna, then the drama, imagine, because I don't think Amber's head's gonna be turned. So if Michael brings back Joanna, the drama that Amber is going to bring, I'm kind of craving that drama. I, I'm kind of 60, 40 right now. I guess we'll see tomorrow. But the way that makes me feel like Michael could turn is because the negative, he was, he was less bitchier than Danny was when Danny was bitching about Yawanda to Arabella, but he was negative. I don't believe that Josh said anything negative towards Georgia when he was kind of cracking on with Kaz in the villa. Another thing that he mentioned was kind of like the age gap, you know, the stubbornness of Amber and also how he thinks that he's not exactly her type on paper. And I think he thinks that it won't work on the outside. I feel like he's creating these doubts. Obviously, I guess in a, in a show such as Love Island, there's gonna be doubts everywhere because of the way that the show is. It's not like the real world. It's like, they're all very young. In the real world, normally you'd probably be, if you're just in the dating stage, you might be juggling one or two people. Well, in Love Island, it feels it's very restrictive and it's frowned upon dating more than one person. It's almost like you have to choose one person and that's that. So I feel like the pressure of having to just stick to one person, he's now thinking, could I have something, if I have to stick to one person, would I have something better with Joanna? And Joanna is gorgeous, and but Amber is gorgeous too. Um, I don't, I wouldn't really say one is like, better than the other obviously when somebody new walks in it's something new it's something fresh you're going to be drawn towards that even though I love Amber and Michael as a couple I don't think that they would work on the outside maybe they'd have a better chance because it sounds their accents sound like they're from the same place but I don't think it would last any longer than if he was to pursue this relationship with Joe because Joe she's from London so he's from Newcastle, that's probably not going to work. And also, he talks about the age gap thing. You know, Joanna, I think she's 23. She's either 21 or 23, so either way, she's either the same age as Amber or not that much older than her. So there's still been age gap issue there. So what do you, th what do you think? Do you feel like Michael was Amber, he, even though he liked Amber, it was more of a um, convenience thing for Michael? Or do you feel like this is just a test in their relationship and that Michael will eventually realise that he has something better with Amber than Joanna? Or what are you thinking? Do you feel like you kind of want Michael to go with Joanna? And is that because you don't like Amber? Or is it because you think that it could make the show a bit more interesting in terms of like drama and entertainment? So Maura and Denon kiss. Again, I had a kind of hunch that Maura was going to get to know other people. She said that she would, but it seems like the editing makes it seem like she's just Denon. So I feel like that's who she's going to pick. And Denon has secured a place in the villa. Is it, I don't know. Is it just me? Or do you feel like Denon is a bit cringy? I'm not sure if it's actually him or his accent. And it's kind of like Theo. I loved Theo as a person, as a personality. But his accent was like... Um, sounded like very like secondary school schoolboy, and I, I feel like Gus Denon has a secondary school schoolboy accent, and it's 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 quite cringy to me. 
I don't know. Do you feel like Denon is a bit cringy or do you feel like it's just his accent? Also, do you feel like Denon genuinely likes Mora or do you feel like, again, this was an easy target type of thing and he's just trying to secure a spot in the villa? And honestly, Mora too, she said that she wanted a gentleman and I don't know, I don't really think Denon, Denon is a gentleman. Obviously, he's quite young. So again, I don't know what Mora wants. Does she want a fun fling or does she just... Or does she want a genuine relationship? I feel like she just wants a fun fling and to have fun and enjoy enjoy her time as a young person while she looks her best. Nabila asks Anton who he's into and it's very embarrassing because he doesn't say her. That's always a bold move to do. I wouldn't have done that because like I said, that can easily backfire on you. Anton said he's interested in Belle, Maria and Joanna. The only person she was gonna go after is Anton, he doesn't like her, so basically her time on the villa is, is done. Gets stuck right in there and asks Anton if she can share a bed with him. In the bed, she starts like tickling him and stroking him. Um, it looked like something else was going on under the covers, but they're, they're, both of their stories are she was tickling his back. I don't think that Belle actually likes Anton or isn't interested in Anton. I think she definitely is looking to secure a place. I don't think she didn't I don't think she needed to go to tickle his back on the first day. I feel like I feel like him her telling him that she was feeling him would have been enough for Anton, really. Do you feel like Belle was doing a bit too much? Or do you feel like she's doing what she has to do to get into the house? What are we thinking? Or do you feel like she genuinely likes Anton, that she wants to get so close with him on the first day? Or what are we thinking? Do you think do we think that this is a game plan? As I suspected, Lucy has her eye on George. Out of all of the boys, I thought that George was mostly Lucy's type. I'm surprised that it was Lucy that pursued George rather than George pursuing Lucy. Obviously, on the app, George said that he was interested in getting to know Amber and Anna, but he hadn't pursued actually anyone in the house. Neither Anna or Amber, perhaps obviously it's Amber, you know, you can kind of tell that she's not, her head's not going to be turned. Anna, she'd already been swept off by Ovi. So I'm surprised he wasn't proactive in seeing who else he could talk to because obviously I assume that they're all trying to secure a place in there in the main villa. Maybe, or maybe that was his plan, kind of like lay back, relax, let them come to you instead of, you know, you going to them. Lucy did mention Stevie, but we've all seen Stevie and then like compare Stevie to George. I think that she's just gonna go with George. Nobody else has been pursuing George, so I think that is a pretty clean sweep for Lucy if she wants to be with George. Can we see Lucy and George being together? Or do you feel like George is interested in Lucy? Or do you think, again, it's just a way for him to get inside the villa? Curtis is now saying that his head could potentially be turning. I'm not completely sold on it. Again, I feel like perhaps this is the just the producers trying to make something for entertainment. I feel like Curtis' head won't turn. Another reason why is that, not to prejudge Curtis, but the fact that he said Jordan and Joanna, I feel like that's just very odd. Like of all of the girls to fancy, he fancies Jordan and Joanna, like two girls that he has no chance with. I find that very suspicious, very fishy. The only person who said that they were interested in Curtis was Maria. Maria is blonde, so I'm not, I, I don't understand why she, I don't understand why he wouldn't mention her name. So I'm not sure. Another thing I've kind of noticed is that a lot of the people are taking a back seat and are not being that proactive. So for Maria, she said she likes Curtis, she likes Anton. I haven't seen her be proactive with that. I don't, I feel like Belle secured the spot with Anton but I'm surprised that she hasn't tried to pursue anything with Curtis. And even if she does, I don't think anything will come of it. I think it's the producers, again, trying to trying to create some entertainment because Curtis and Amy are a solid couple. Lavina hasn't really tried to pursue anyone. So, you know, she was going on about, you know, we're here to steal people's men, but she hasn't really been that proactive. So I don't know, maybe she did share a bed with Danny. So perhaps like I said, if Danny decides that he doesn't find a connection in here and he's feeling like he's, he's Adam, he's the Adam of the show, 
he might take somebody in as on a friendship level kind of thing. So if, if Lavina continues on a friendship level, perhaps maybe she might be able to strike a deal to get into the villa. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you feel like it's kind of set in stone who out of the new islands will be making their way into the main villa and into the main competition? Or do you think it's pretty much all to play for? Obviously in tomorrow's episode preview, it's another kissing challenge. It seems very intense. It's probably gonna cause a lot more rifts. Obviously it's going to test relationships a lot more. So if people were on the fence, they're definitely gonna be at least, at the very least swayed by this challenge. So I'm excited to see. So understandably, a lot of people are upset with Michael. A lot of people are not here that he was basically disrespecting Amber in front of another woman who again is essentially competition. And a lot of people are kind of kind of optimistic that perhaps he can turn and still choose Amber at the end. And I've seen a few tweets saying that they're actually happy that he's going with Joanna, obviously. Amber, I feel like with Amber, it's, you either love, people either love her or people either hate her. But what side of the fence are you on? In regards to the Belle situation, people are very split. People feel like she's doing what she feels that she needs to do to kind of secure a spot in the villa. Overall, I was expecting a lot more juicy, juicy things to happen this episode, but you know, I guess this cast of more this year is gonna be a very slow burner. I feel like tomorrow is when it's all gonna go down after all of that kissing business. So yeah, I'm excited to see what goes down. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know how you're feeling about these new islanders. Who do you love? Who do you hate? How are you feeling about the whole Michael situation? How are you feeling about Belle? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till next time, bye.